Hi friends, my name is Devolina, professionally a fashion designer, married to my best friend who is also a fashion designer, proud daughter of two wonderful parents. If you are watching my video for the first time, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also press the bell icon to get further notification. My channel comprises of fashion designing and scope of fashion designing. There's lots and lots of styling tips which is there in my channel. Also note that Design Buddy has come up with free ebooks. So if you're interested to get your copy, so please watch the video. In this video, uh, somewhere I will give the link of the free ebook from where you can download your free copy. This ebook is related to the topic I'm discussing each and every day. So please download your copy. This ebook will help you to get benefited more and to know the topic more. Please note that we put a lot of effort to bring out the videos for you. Please watch our video and if you like, please like. If you want others to be benefited out of it, please share my video and please do subscribe to my channel. I did a video on personality development one week back. I hope you have seen the video. If not, I leave the link in the description box below. So this video is a continuation of that video. Today, my topic is body language and uh, please watch the video until the end so that you know what body language is and how you can improve it. Before starting with body language, we need to know what communication is. Communication has two parts, 7% verbal and 93% non-verbal. Out of 93% non-verbal, 55% is body language, 38% is tone of voice. And today we are going to discuss body language. People communicate in various languages, but the body language can say a very different thing from the language we are saying. It is always important to learn body language for your personal life as well as professional life. Body language expresses feelings and it can be easily manipulated. For example, I don't like a person. Even if he is giving a positive vibes to me, I have this perception that the person is bad. So his body language is also demeaning for me. Body language plays an important role when we are meeting someone for the first time. However, body language is not the best way to judge a person. Now we'll talk about different posture, saying different things. Straight posture. If I'm standing straight, then it means I am confident and what I'm saying, I'm totally in for it. Hand on the hip or at the side means that I have an authority to speak. Sitting in a posture with leg apart means confidence for men. It also depicts a very casual demeanor. Open palm means sincerity, openness and innocence. Body language can create negative impact as well. Sitting with a crossed leg and, and kicking sideways means boredom. Arm crossed can say that I am defensive and I am not agreeing to some point. Walking with hands in the pocket and with the drooping shoulder like this. It's a clear sign of rejection. Though the person is saying yes on the face, but still it's a rejection because this person is not agreeing to the point what you are saying. Touching your nose, doing this, this, this. It's a clear sign of rejection, lie or doubt. Rubbing your eyes like this, like this, like this. It's a clear sign of tiredness or not willing to listen to that particular talk. All of us have an experience when we are in some sort of class and the teacher is teaching something which we don't like. We always do like this, oh, I'm tired. So this is a negative body language we have for not accepting the particular lecture. If you are angry and frustrated, it is also shown by your body language. If your hand is like this, 
in the front or in the back it means that you are angry and you are not agreeing on that point though your mouth is saying yes then also your body is saying no for improving your body language you can always observe the people how they react to particular set of event it is not always easy to observe one person because some person they are very easy going and they are very easy to observe and some power person they are very difficult so you have to develop the skill and be more observant for developing body language you have to be more attentive if you are attentive and you know that person will react this particular way when this type of situation is happening then you can react accordingly and your body will also support you what we react can be categorized in different ways for example if i'm standing near to one person it means that either i'm friendly to him or there's some kind of a bond and if i'm standing away from him it means that i have a clear negative impact of that person it can be the other way round also for example i'm allergic to some kind of smell and if the person is putting that smell and i'm allergic i can stand away but people will have this impression that i have a problem with that particular person so that's why i have said that body language can be manipulated we act to a particular situation according to the goal set for example i always wanted to be a fashion designer i have paved my path according to it and most important importantly my body language was always easy for fashion designing if somebody has had forced me to do something else then it might have shown in my body language as well you can always work on your body language and you can rebrand your body language by setting new goals changing personal style is the most important thing in body language good personality with good dressing sense can give you the confidence to look at the other person to have a eye contact with the other person a firm handshake it shows that you are confident in the particular thing so now we'll discuss about how to improve your body language so first and foremost you have to practice in front of the mirror keep the mirror in front and see all the expressions which your body is reacting to to some scenarios and by this you can help yourself to develop and improve your body language you have to train yourself to be positive in all the situation i know it is not possible it's a vague thing but at least you can try to be positive because if you have the positiveness in you then the other person can also relate to it eye contact straight posture firm handshake these are few things which can create a positive impact in the other people's mind you can also change the other person with your positive nature trust me my friend it does create a lot of difference smiling confident sitting saying hi to someone with the amount of confidence in your body can really create a positive impact you should create a symmetry in your life for example we are facing some situation which we can react positively or negatively so you have to strike a balance in between and react to it in a positive manner when you are talking to the other person you should match the other person for example i am talking to my senior i'll talk like with so uh, with respect and my body language will show that if i'm talking to my friend my body language will be more casual and not that uh, restricted not that hard i would say the consequences of body language is unnecessary results for example if we have some mindset that this person is like that we will create that even if he or she is showing some positivity then also we will see only the negative thing sometimes the result is all already decided before the situation now i'll i'll give you some suggestion and tips for developing your body language further for example you are a 25 year person you have spent your 25 years in um, house in school in college in university so whatever you are it is all because of your this school college university your family your surroundings and everything but um, if somebody says that you have to change it is really difficult to change. change your ideas change your way of talking because it has been inculcated into you for 25 years but my friend if somebody say that you have to change your body language it can be done 
with a little effort and with a little guidance body language can be changed by practice so my friend whosoever personality you follow just download some videos of him or her giving a speech mute the video and watch what and how the person is reacting to the particular situation if you want to be an expert in body language you need to notice two things one facial expression second the body posture in facial expression we need to notice eyebrows whether it's up down frowning eyes whether it is in the left right up down blinking or in a dilation mode then you have to notice the nose whether it is wrinkled flaring of nostril then the lips whether it's smiling puckered kissing opened closed and tight then the tongue whether it's in whether it's out rolled tip up or down licking of lips then finally the jaw open close clinched lower jaw left or right after we have noticed the facial expression we have to notice the body posture as well in body posture we have to see body proximity like how far or close the other person is then we have to look at the shoulder movement whether it's up down hanging hunched arm placement up down crossed straight then the leg and the feet placement in that we have to notice whether it's straight crossed weight placement feet towards speaking the partner or pointing elsewhere dangling of shoe then we have to notice the hand and the finger gesture like how you hold and move your hands fingers are particularly insightful in reading people then finally you have to notice the handling and placement of object objects like pen paper etc like though it's the odd man out technically not a body part but object do play a big role in reading body language so now friends as we come to the end of the video now please check the link and please download your free ebook and keep a copy for yourself it will help you to develop your body language in a better way if you like my video please like share and subscribe